Okay, I'm going to show you today how to take any piece of printed matter that you may have, anything that can be recognized by a computer, and to turn it into either an ebook in PDF form or into a, an audiobook that can be listened to on your computer or on your MP3 player. Basically, there's only one piece of hardware you need besides the computer. Maybe I should say two because you also need a cutter if, you're, uh, if your material is bound. And that's this piece of equipment which is called a Fujitsu Scan Snap. It costs about $400 or so new. And this one can hold about probably about 50 pages at a time. There's also a smaller portable version that can only do about 10 or 15 pages at a time. But it's very useful and it comes with software as you'll see that is even more useful. So the first step is to take some printed matter. I have a little brochure here that's bound along the edge, stapled. And we have to get it into a format where we can run it through the scanner. So that means taking off the edge, taking off the binding. Okay? Since this is only a small booklet, I can use Since this is only a small booklet, I can use this little guillotine paper cutter, okay? And all, all you do is just line up the edge and cut. All right? Before I did that, I already checked this one before, but before you cut, you really ought to check to make sure the inside is not uh, going to be cut off. You have to make sure you're within the margin and you're not going to cut off any text on the inside, but this one is okay. You'll see the binding is gone, but we can still see all the text. Okay? If I were going to do a bigger uh, document, like a book, then I would have to cut along the binding here with a razor. I would have to take that and cut it here down the, the, the spine here, cut it in half, and then I would have to cut that in half again, and maybe one more time until I could get few enough pages. This thing does maybe 10 pages at a time, so I'd really have to cut this into 10 page pieces. And then finally, I would have it all cut. That's a little bit labor intensive. They also sell uh, more heavy-duty paper cutters that can do up to 50 or even 100 pages at a time and in that case it would uh, you would feed this whole thing in there you would crank down a plastic guard that would hold it in place and then you would use a very large lever to pull down a big blade and that would cut straight across again you would have to check that you weren't cutting any text on the inside okay but those are available online uh, those are called guillotine paper cutters or just bulk paper cutters. So now that we have the paper in that form, we're going to take it, make sure we've got some good free pages, none of them are stuck together, and feed it into the scan snap. And when you do that, you, you take the front page and you flip it like that, face down like it's going into a fax machine and then and when you do that you, you take the front page and you flip it like that face down like it's going into a fax machine and then on your computer you have to have the scan snap manager running which is this little icon down here it's a blue S and usually you set up different profiles. So for example, I have a color profile if it's a color document. I have a black and white and also a grayscale. And I would use those depending on what kind of document it was. This document has color in it, so I'm going to choose the color. By the way, it also has an automatic setting that it can choose color automatically, but I've found that it's not that good. 
If I choose the auto, then it would do one page color and one page black and white, perhaps. And that might be okay, it might not be okay. In this case, I'm just going to do full on color because I have color pages. And then once you got the profile selected, you just push the button to scan. And it starts to scan. On the page, on the screen rather, you'll see that it, there's a progress report of how many pages it scanned, and also tells you some information about the settings, like it's on duplex, so it's scanning both sides of the page. It's on color. If you find that that's not what you want, you can stop it and restart it. Okay, and now that's done. So we'll gather up the pages. And on the screen, it lets us know scanning is completed. And these are settings you can change in the, uh, in the ScanSnap Manager itself. You can have it complete automatically if you'd like, but I have it set so that it asks me if it's done or not. It says, do you want to continue or are you finished? I'm going to say finished. You can also have it give it a default name, which is usually just the date and the time that it was scanned. Uh, you can have that give it the name automatically. I have it set so that it will ask me if that name is okay and I'm going to change the name to just brochure of heating which is what that was okay so the ScanSnap organizer comes up this is included with the ScanSnap when you buy it and the last one in the list here is the one we just scanned so I'm going to click on that Right now, it's just an image file. It's just images scanned into the computer. I want to go one step beyond that, though, and I want to produce a recognized PDF that will give me the text. So I'm going to right-click on that. I'm going to select Convert into Searchable PDF. Click that, and I'm going to choose Embed Text Information into Pages.